Hey everyone, it's Gus from Palm My Life Up, and in this video I'll be going through the steps to setting up a Plex server on the Raspberry Pi. Plex is a client server setup where the client simply streams data from a Plex media server. This means that you can have all your movies, music, photos located on one device, the server. In this case, it will be the Raspberry Pi. You can then use multiple clients to connect to that server. This is great as you don't need to have multiple copies of the same media across several devices. The Plex client is supported on a ton of devices such as Windows, Apple, Android, Amazon Fire TV, Chromecast, Xbox, PlayStation, Linux and much more. It really is an amazing home media solution. In this tutorial I'll be using Raspi and Jesse. So if you haven't got it installed, then check out my video on how to get it done here. Since there is no official ARM Plex server, we will need to download and use a repackaged version by devtoday.de. As with any software tutorial, let's make sure our Pi is up to date by running the following commands. sudo apt-get update sudo apt-get upgrade we next need to enable the HTTPS transport package so we can access HTTPS packages using apt-get. Enter the following line to download, install and activate it. sudo apt-get install apt transport HTTPS. Next we need to add a crypt key for the Dev Today website to our key ring. The vertical bar in the following command copies the output from the first command into the second command. So wget dash capital O dash https sending colon forward slash forward slash dev today dot de slash pms slash dev today dash pms dot gpg dot key and then vertical bar sudo add dash key add dash. Now we need to add the dev today repository to our package source list. To do this, simply enter the following echo double quotes deb https forward slash forward slash dev today dot de forward slash pms forward slash jesse main double quotes and then a vertical bar sudo t forward slash etc forward slash apt forward slash sources dot list dot d forward slash pms dot list. Now we need to update the package list. You can do this by running the following sudo apt-get update. Now run the following to install the Plex media server onto the Raspberry Pi. sudo apt-get install dash t jesse plex media server. If you get an error like this, then I worked out a very simple fix. Simply edit the file with the package source list by entering the following sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list dot d slash pms dot list. In here simply change the dev today to just normal http. Once done simply run sudo app get update and once that is done simply try installing it again sudo apt get install dash t jesse plex media server. To avoid any annoying permission problems, let's change the Plex user to run under the Pi user. To do this, simply open up the following file. sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash default forward slash Plex media server. At the line Plex media server user, change this from Plex to Pi. Now restart the Plex media server by running the following line. sudo service Plex media server restart. Now it should all be installed, but before we get started, we should also make sure the Pi has a static IP, so it's easy to remember the IP. To get your current IP, enter the following, hostname dash capital I. Now open up the cmd line.txt file by running the following, nano slash boot slash cmd line.txt. At the bottom of this file, add the following line, IP equals then your IP. In my case it's 192.168.1.100. Once done exit by pressing Ctrl X and then Y to save. Now simply reboot the Pi by running the following command sudo 
reboot. Reply should now always start with the same IP. You can also set this on most routers by tying the MAC address of your network device to an IP. Now the Raspberry Pi Plex media server should be all set up and ready to parse media and stream it to any client that wishes to connect. I'll just go through some of the basics to getting some of the stuff set up now. If you're using an app on your phone, computer, Xbox, PlayStation or any other device then the Plex client should be able to pick up on the server automatically. To connect in the browser simply enter the IP followed by the port 32400 and then forward slash web. For example mine is 192.168.1.100 semicolon 32400 slash web slash. You'll then be prompted to log in, simply sign up or sign in to an existing Plex account. You can skip this by entering the same address in again. Next you'll need to set up your music, movie and TV show libraries. This is incredibly easy and shouldn't be too hard to get set up. First select add library in the left hand side column. Next select the type of media that is in the folder. If you have more than one type then you'll need to add a new library for each. Next you'll need to select the folder that has all your media in it. For example mine is on a USB drive that is displayed on the left hand side column or can be found at forward slash media forward slash pi forward slash ESD dash USB. Once you add the library it will now organise your clips in a nice easy to browse interface. Now I can simply stream any of the movies or media I have added to my library straight to my computer. Now there are several ways to store your media on the Raspberry Pi. You can just hook up an external hard drive with all your music, movies and whatever else you may have. Setting Plesk to the Pi user means you can simply just plug a USB drive in and access for media in Plesk without any issues. You can also permanently mount a hard drive. I have covered this before in a previous tutorial so be sure to check out my video on how to mount a USB hard drive to Raspberry Pi. Make sure you set the user and group owner of the drive to Pi. You could also set your Pi up to act as a network attached storage so you can transfer all your media across to it without needing to disconnect and reconnect a hard drive. You can get this all done by simply following my tutorial on setting up a Raspberry Pi network attached storage. Again, make sure you set the group and user owner of the hard drive to Pi or whatever the user Plesk is running as. Lastly, you can set up the SD card for storage, but as you could imagine, you will quickly run out of space. You can set up a folder on the SD card to be accessed via the network. If you need any more information on how to set up everything then be sure to head over to PyMyLifeUp.com. I hope that you now have a Raspberry Pi Plex server up and running and didn't run into any trouble. If you do come across any issues or have some feedback then please don't hesitate to leave a comment below or over at PyMyLifeUp.com. Until next time, have a good one. Looking for more Pi projects to do? Check out these 21 awesome Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.